Mm. All right. All right, all right, all right. I think we're already live Back just on the starting business. soon. <laughs> I don't know what that is. Uh, I don't Back know. It just business. says that we're, you know, starting starting. No, I'm talking about me. I don't know what I was just doing. Oh, what just, you're doing? I mean, when did we know what yeah, we were doing? Different. Let's be fair. Let's be fair. This is true. All this right, let's true. just start this shit in three, two, one, and play the intro. Shut up the intro's playing. I poke the head jokes. All right, all right, all right, all right, all right. What's up, baby? It's been 279 days, according to YouTube, since we last did an episode for eye pokes and head chokes it's your boys mr alex and on the other end mr cooler we're back buddies we're back we're back we're back we're back but we're back for a limited engagement just two more episodes this one included um it's been a great journey it's been a lot of fun but i think we kind of knew the writing was on the wall as soon as i said, hey, I'm moving to Florida. <laughs> I think like, we, we, we knew that was going to happen eventually. Decisions, and it was just decisions. Like, yeah, you know, it's, it's life. It happens. Um, and it just, it is what it is. Like, you know, like you, you, you meet a girl and that girl lives in Miami and you're like, well, shit. And, uh, and, and you just kind of, you just kind of got to know that you, it's it's kind of your time to go and then yeah like you said like you know she said hey you got to come through and now you can't be in new york anymore no, she, she didn't say any of that stuff just to clarify <laughs> this is me just embellishing like crazy but it's, it's been it's yeah putting my out. spin on it exactly uh but it's been a very very long road it's been a fun road to be honest with you and uh from mm -hmm. that from that recorded that first episode that we recorded on my phone that sounds like shit when you go back and listen to it <laughs> to now um, recorder too. oh recorder. yeah you're recorded that's true too <laughs> and uh yeah it was kind of crazy and like we you know we figured out as it went we were like 10 episodes let's see where we're at yeah. and then little by little we started getting better we started getting the flow we had no flow in the first couple minutes we had like in the first couple episodes, at sorry, all. at all. We were just jumping all over the place. And then like we started figuring it out little by little. And um, it was it, it, it was fun. It was a fun process. We got to meet a lot of people. And uh, we're here um, seven years later. I wouldn't say almost to the day, but I feel like we started in January, I think. No, we did not. No, we did when not. did we start? We started in December. Remember it I was close. Yes, yes, that's right. That's, right. right. that's right. That's right. That's right. That's right. It was Crazy. Santa Con. It was Santa Con. That's true. <laughs> that's of, true. We after finish after no, actually the second anniversary uh of our start date, we were in the city doing um doing one of the episodes and we ended up leaving leaving the location and it is again is Santa Con. Yeah. It's like four it's just four batches of people and there's somebody sick everywhere. Yeah. Just I remember I think I remember seeing up. seeing a girl on Christmas sitting on a stoop, bent over, throwing up, and we were just like, How sad. Yep. <laughs> <Yes>. How fun. <laughs> fun. Don't bad. Fun. <laughs> fun because like, damn, we were twenty seven back then, twenty six, twenty seven. And like, damn, Oof. time flies. Thirty four, you're thirty five now? Yeah. yeah. Yeah, we old. Tell everybody we old. We old. Um, but, you know, as life goes on, uh, things get harder and harder to do. You move away. Things get harder and harder to do. No, we're vintage, as your boy, what's his name, would say. Okay. Yo, Ace, what up, baby? How you doing, man? Thank you for joining on the last uh, couple episodes. We're talking WrestleMania in a bit. We're just reminiscing a bit over the past seven years of the fuckery that we've had. Um, 200 plus episodes and stuff, so... Uh, thank you for coming through. Yes, thanks, man. Thanks. Good to good to hear from you too. Good to seeing you stream. Though. I hadn't seen you stream in a long time. Video gaming wise, um, always funny to see you uh, freak out and stuff. What up, Die Hard? How you doing? How you doing? 
Um, he's also in the building. Uh, like I said, reminiscing nice. real quick. And uh, then we're going to jump on to the WrestleMania preview. Um, but yeah, we were just saying it's been a fun, long seven years. We did how many WrestleManias were we able to do? One, right? We... We did one. We did one. We did. We did. We did a about, bunch of Ring of Honor shows was, <laughs> and New yeah, Japan shows. Pay per view. Pay-per-view. Yeah. Do you remember Supercard of Honor in New Orleans? That long ass walk. That's what I'm saying, bro. That walk was crazy. <laughs> that walk was nuts. We couldn't get an Uber. That we long, couldn't get a yeah, lift. we couldn't get a Lyft or Uber because it said 45 minute wait for an Uber because everybody was getting out. I think it was called the was it the UFO arena or some shit like that? It was called I don't remember what yes, it was called. I think it was yeah. some shit like that or the Uno. It was a Uno. It was Uno something. Um, but yeah, forty five minutes for the thing. We had to walk away and we walked like half an hour. Not we didn't walk half an hour. We walked like twenty minutes and then afterwards the Uber was like, oh, it'll be there in two minutes. But we were in a the sketchy lakefront, ass neighborhood. Uno Lakefront Arena. Uno Lakefront Arena. There you go. I said UFO. It was close enough. I was I was there. But I got the Uno afterwards. Um, but yeah, man, it was sketchy as fuck that hey, we were looking around like, where the fuck is this lift at this point? <laughs> but uh, yes, Ace, we have to, we definitely gotta get some steak. I want to go to um, to what's it called? What's the one in Brooklyn called again? I always forget. Peter Luger's. I want to go to Peter Luger's next time I go. That's the only reason I go to Brooklyn. That's that's literally it. We we could do that next time. Well, yeah, if, if you're talking about sketchy neighborhoods, I, I know it's gentrified, but it's still not the same. It's not what? Same. Brooklyn. Uh, Brooklyn. Man. Well, we have a little Brooklyn down here in, in Miami. It's called. Um, really. It's, it's called Winwood. It's like picture if you can copy Williamsburg and paste it in Miami. That's literally what it is. That's what they did. Okay, shit, that's, that's yeah. not too bad. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's kind of kind of wild. Um, but uh, sorry, sorry, sending a text. My fiance just was asking me something. Um, but um, yeah. Any any standout moments you had that you, you could think of in the last uh, seven years, seven ish um, years? Um, another Ring of Honor moment. Um, uh. Giving the fist bump to Carrie Silkins in, in Ring of Honor, and um, while while having a bear in my hand, in both my hands. Oh, that's right. That's right. <laughs> yeah, I had two bears in my hand, and I get to fist bump Carrie Silkins. That was that was great. That was great. Um, and that same evening, I got to uh, see um, Christopher Daniels uh, at the meet and greet with with the Ring of Honor title. Nice, nice. The, yeah, the second I don't the second version of the title I think it was either way the one with the reef, that one was amazing. The one I can remember, the, my favorite Ring of Honor, I could say my favorite Ring of Honor moment was, the, I think it was the it wasn't Super Card of Honor, but I think it was War of the Worlds at the Highland Ballroom, like in uh, yeah. on Thirty Fourth Street. That shit was so much fun. We were right there, bro. We were right next to the ring. <laughs> It was so dope. Like you saw Okada there. I still have the pictures. I was looking through my um external hard drive and I was like, yo, we got some close up pictures. Yeah. With um Okada, yeah, yeah. Naito, like all of them were there fucking we, TJP. Every the TJP. Picture. Yeah, dude. All I was like, yo, we did a lot, bro. We went to yeah. Brooklyn for other fucking um indie shows where where you had people going to AEW. Yep. Like the next week when it was starting, like it was kind of crazy. We had Santana Ortiz were that there, was right? All, yes, that was all in one week. Yeah, yeah, it was. It was that really was, crazy. That was the same night. That was the same night. We left there. We left. We left Battle Club. And then we went to Battle Club. yeah. It was yes. Battle Club in the morning, in the afternoon, mm-hmm. and then we went directly to the ballroom that later that night. We were yeah. all over the place when it came to wrestling back then. But that's when we were so young. We're gonna do it. We're gonna do it. We're gonna do it. Fuck it. That's when that's when we were young. That's when like our backs yeah. didn't hurt as much and our knees and <laughs> shit. Still young. And like, just a little you, bit. Come on. And like you like wake up and like you take a step and then your whole back is just gone for no reason. Like we can't can't be doing it anymore. Now like I'm I'm more okay. of the life where I'm like You're I'm like, okay. I'm like I'm at this point where I'm like, I think I wanna go. Yes, I'll spend five hundred dollars on tickets to go see Hans Zimmer 
in the <laughs> in the hard ride for Lauderdale, yeah. and I'm like, I'm like, yeah, I'll do that. I'd I'd rather spend that over over going to an overpriced. Uh, Cause I could have went to the Rumble, bro. I could have went in Tampa. They were asking for eight hundred dollars for nosebleed tickets. I was like, "Fuck out of here!" I was like, "I'm not doing that." That's crazy. I'm not doing that. I was like, "No." I was like, I, "We paid that. less for WrestleMania in New Orleans." Like, I think we paid like something like five hundred for both tickets. Five? Six, it was, maybe. It, yeah, it was five and change. It was five and change. Yes, I remember. It was five and change. That was not. And that was just the ticket. That's not plane ticket. That's just the seats. Yeah, it's it's really it's really crazy um, how how much shit has changed. How how much more expensive stuff got. Um, we done been through the pandemic. We had this you calling this girl fugly and having us cry laughing <laughs> on the fucking put, yo, on the podcast. And, That's one of the highlights for me. Like podcast moments when you called her fugly and we all lost it. Bro, that's one of my favorite moments of all time. Um, another one of my favorite moments I can say, and we'll probably say this shit the next week once we're going over the WrestleMania review and everything and having our sayonara moment. Um, my favorite part was when I think we were talking and I was high as fuck. Like, I was gone. And I think it's in our, like our best moments thing, like in the episode 200 thingy. Um, I was gone gone and you're talking and i'm looking at you and you wait for me to answer and i'm like i have no idea what you're talking about <laughs> like i was gone bro we had our game yeah, of throne yeah. moments as well like where we we stopped talking about wrestling because to be fair we actually could stop talking about wrestling at that point it was kind of in the law at that point so we were able to like talk about different things yeah. the wrestling yeah, um the movies we were we even reviewed movies and shit like just to like branch out a bit uh with the uh, tangents the tangents. the tangents the tangents the tangents the tangents um where we would have to like just rein ourselves back in and everything and uh yeah it was it, it was, was just a lot worst. of fun it was a lot i mean i, was we, I mean we, we know you never let me finish an episode to begin with <laughs> every time we try to sign off but, but, but wait 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 it's like nah bro like chill 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 <laughs> that's not completely like, true it what do you mean what do you mean it's completely Not true. Completely, so so about ninety five percent, ninety three percent. It's not completely. Nah, <laughs> I, don't, I don't know, man. I don't know. I just realized that the stream isn't outputting the way I want it to, but it's okay. It's fine. It's not in ten eighty p. I just realized, and that's kind of annoying. I just realized that. No wonder. I'm like, it should be at sixty frames, but it's not. I can't change it right now. We're already live, so it is what it is. Um, yeah, you're just gonna have to yeah. remaster it in a couple. Yeah, of years. yeah, it's fine, it's fine. We'll, we we could redo it, and when we come back with whatever else, we we figure out what we're gonna do once we, you know, once we figure out what we're gonna do with the brand, then we'll we'll come back with some shit. We got we'll ideas. We got shit. ideas. Yeah. I have ideas for sure. It's just executing and having the time to execute them is is the difference. Yeah. Um. That's really all it, it takes. All so time. let's talk wrestling. Yes. WWE. Right. WrestleMania weekend, um, supposed to be the biggest WrestleMania of all time, because uh, you know you got the great <laughs> one back in there with his cousin. I mean, he's the reason why. Yeah, with his cousin and Cody Rhodes and uh, Seth Rollins put himself in it. I think we're, we're just gonna start with that real quick. Um, I think the at first everybody was pissed. Like uh, for obvious reasons, everybody didn't know where this was. Yeah. I think honestly, WWE so didn't. Had to say I think WWE to miscalculated at the beginning. They did. I'm not, they they been miscalculated been so hard. Years. Yeah, they miscalculated they so remember. hard when they were gonna do it. This was like this was not the year. You had the Hollywood year. That's when you were supposed to do it, not in Philly. Um, this, was the, this was the perfect year because of because of they're trying to overshadow Vince. So this is the well, yeah, year. they had to do it. They had to do it then. Um, we, um, we can get into that a bit as well, the whole Vince situation. Yeah. Although a lot of that has quieted down, as you can see, like how news it's, quickly it's moves on. Back up. It's firing back up. Well, I hadn't heard much since then, okay. um, since the main thing. But um, but yeah, like they miscalculated, they recorrected because I get wanting to have The Rock versus Roman Reigns. I wholeheartedly do. They just did went about it the wrong way. Um, 
And I think they realized that, and they had to course correct. And luckily, The Rock was at least big enough to realize that was an issue. Or maybe this was the plan all along. I don't know. I don't know. But um, no, they it's, said they it's made called, for called some audibles. Yeah, yeah, for sure. It's made for some interesting WWE Monday Night Wars feel. You know, like it, it yeah. has that feel since he's like since The Rock is off cursing on Instagram and and like you know all the kid all the wwe people like that can't do it they're like oh and yeah yeah he also you know they finally showed blood on tv from cody cody loves to cut himself why is he still calling him boy i don't know probably a god of war thing i I don't know boy (laughs) but But, um yeah you don't know but remember like he 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 used to see him as a boy think about it like the rock you know what i mean like (laughs) yeah I get it. Yeah, you're right. Yeah. And then you have a bunch of other things going on. Like right now you have um Right now you have uh, this whole ladder match going on. You have Rhea Ripley and Becky Lynch. I don't know I where like that, that came from. Um uh, Then you I have nowhere, but they have, have a bunch building of up You have the Jay and Jimmy brother versus brother thing. Um I like that. Uh makes sense. It makes sense for a long time. Um I think they I think they really miss. So this is my thing. I'm all with the Cody angle. I'm all with the with the uh, the Rock angle and all that stuff. But I just feel like they oh, also wow. missed another boat with the with the Jey Uso, Jimmy Uso. Uso thing. Yeah, he should have. If there was anyone but the Rock or Cody to take away the belt, I would have said it would have been main event Jey Uso. Um, I think they could have really done something incredible with that but obviously when you have the other variable variables bigger variables like the rock and cody rhodes um and you make cody rhodes go back to back like it could be yeah it could be too much which is why like it's it's time um but at least he's still a main they're both still main events yeah of course 100 percent, 100 percent. yeah and jay and jimmy are both main eventers that like that's what it comes down to. They're on WrestleMania. Maybe once, if this guy wins, if Cody somehow wins and and gets the title, maybe he gives Jay a shot or whatever. Because you know he'd be like the working champion. That's not gonna, you know, that's yeah. not gonna back down from anyone and this and that. So open challenge, type uh, shit, yeah, and Lucina and all yeah. that good shit. So I could see that happening, but um, but yeah, like I, it's been really hard for me to keep up with wrestling. Uh. Driving home from work for an hour sucks so much. <laughs> like, I can't watch the stuff on the train like I used to. <laughs> so it's like, it's really hard to catch up. You're trying to better yourself in other ways where you're either trying to work mm-hmm. out or you're trying to, um, you know, learn something new and take a course and whatever. And, like, you really don't have to, time to watch uh, New Japan, AEW, or um, yeah. WWE. Every day. So you yeah. can, if you yeah. can get you can. one day. You can, for good, sure. But- yeah. Um, I haven't even great. seen I haven't even much. seen Iron Claw yet, bro. Like, and I've been dying what? to watch that movie. Yeah, like I've been dying to watch the movie. I was supposed to go watch it in theaters, and it never happened. And now I it's see really that it's good. on. It's, uh, it's on. Yeah. I think it's on Apple TV. I'm not entirely sure, but if it is, I could definitely be. check it out. It or Paramount, be. one of those. But I think I remember seeing it. Um, but it just looked really good. Cause I think it was an Apple TV movie. To be honest with you, I, if I remember correctly. I'm not entirely yeah. sure. Um, it might be up there. But it could be there. So, like, I haven't even gotten around to seeing that. I haven't seen the Bray Wyatt documentary on Peacock. I haven't seen a bunch of Dark Side. I've been trying to play it for like the last hour, and Peacock has not let me do it. Really? I've been trying to play it, and it's just, I, I don't know what it is. It might have an issue. Um, I know that, uh, what's it called? Um, what was I saying? You got me off Peacock. balance. No, Peacock. And then I haven't seen, I forgot what else I haven't seen, but there was something else that I haven't seen. <laughs> I threw my, threw me off of it. Like I get, I get called out by my boy Die Hard now where he's just like, man, he was like, you changed. And I'm like, well, yeah, man, like a lot of shit changed. Like I have a fiance now, like, you know, like sometimes I can't watch the wrestling because she wants to watch the office or she, you know, like if, if she's watching the office and I put it on my phone, she's going to start like, you know, she kind of pokes fun of it and. 
I don't want to hear this shit. And then it turns into an argument, like, leave my shit alone. <laughs> leave my guy novella alone, because I don't talk shit when, about your novellas, even though I kind of do. But, you know, it, it has a discussion, but it's yeah. pretty funny at the end of the day. Um, not that I'm blaming it on her. It's just, like, it's hard to <laughs> balance a lot of stuff. It's hard to balance a lot of stuff. Um, so she's probably going to text yeah, me, like, yeah. that's not true, because she's probably on the, on, the, <laughs> on the train right now if she's watching. But, um... But yeah, like there's just a lot of things here and there where I don't have the time to watch a new shit. Like I, I had all the intention of watching New Japan's uh, Wrestle yeah. Kingdom. I had all, I, I, dude. Yeah, I can, I, so I, I could I, even I show I you. Bad. I, thought, I, I, I could even I show I you. I had bad business. I thought I did I was the only one not watching this. But I still bad. have. So bad, I bad. still have I AW bad. Revolution, like paused right here. Like I shit you not, like is so that watch. Is, yeah, that's on why, the that's on the you... network. That's on the network. <laughs> <That's>, <laughs> okay, so like, right. so like, I, I still have AEW Revolution. I haven't finished, and they're like, you know, it was great. I was like, I'm sure it was. I just haven't had time to watch it. It was. Um, shout out to Sting. It was great. Yeah, shout out to the Stinger. Thank you for all your years yeah. of service and entertainment and fun. And uh, he was always one of my favorite ones in WCW. Period. Um, obviously Goldberg was one of them too, but like WCW, uh, Sting is going to be always a GOAT and you know, now he's passing, now he passed it off to Kid Sting and, um, you I'm know, calling Darby that. he's always been Kid Sting. Let's not pretend he hasn't he's been. He's not Kid Sting. He's yes. crazy Sting. That's what he is. He's crazy Sting. Yeah, but he's like a younger version of him. But crazy. I still haven't seen him going through the glass and shit yet. Like I've seen it. But I haven't seen the it's lead only- up and the match and everything. I know, I know you put it on the thing. I remember seeing it on Twitter, and I was just like, "It wasn't even me." What are you talking about? Or you <laughs> retweeted or something. It's everywhere. It's literally yeah. everywhere. And it was on the Revolution card. Mm-hmm. Okay, so I'm I have yet to get yeah. there. <laughs> Pretty much. Wh- whatever like, you do. Exactly. And I heard it was a crazy match, but yeah. So um, let's go over this WrestleMania shit. Uh, WrestleMania Night One. I'm on CBS uh, Sports. I don't know if they added anything in, but as of yesterday, as of two days ago, this is the match card for Night One as we see it. So I think we have the Women's World Championship again. This is all subject to change on how they ladder stuff around, um, and how they do the match cards. As we know from playing NBA 2K23 and having the <laughs> GM mode, that it's a pain <laughs> in the ass. Um, so we had the Women's World Championship match, supposedly in the first position to open the show, Rhea Ripley defending her title against Becky Lynch. Um, apparently Lynch has had confidence issues over the past few months, and uh, she won the Elimination Chamber, which I also meant to keep watching. But the Elimination Chamber, I, okay, this is my thing. The Elimination Chamber, I watched the first Elimination Chamber ever, and then the second and third and fourth, they were all really good. And then I see the later ones now, and I'm like... I don't know what it is now. Is is, is it because they're too safe again? Okay, I, I think know I'm so. Not going crazy. That's just really Because, like, is. you had Rob Van Dam doing fucking crazy stuff. You had... You know, Chris Benoit doing stuff in there, and like you had, you had all the goats in there doing name. their shit. I say his name. I don't give a fuck. Uh, <laughs> we say his name. You gotta acknowledge the um, You gotta acknowledge. The but uh, still, I don't think he did it. But um, at the end of the day, yeah, like it just like I watched some of the Elimination Chamber now with some. Oh, okay, yeah. And it was like. It was like, okay. It was like, all right. So, um... I don't think we were talking about the same thing, so I had to stop talking. What were you talking about? <laughs> you were talking about the uh, other thing? The Benoit yeah. tra- tragedy? Yeah. The setup? I about yeah, I want to talk about that. Yeah, take it. Take it, take it, take it, take it. Um, so we have that opening up. The next supposed uh, thing in the match card is the undisputed WWE Tag Team Championship match. Judgment Day defending versus DIY. They're back together. Eh. Eh. Okay. Kind of, um, yeah. The new day yeah. is Big E back or not? Nah? Or is he never gonna wrestle no, again? He's not. Pretty much no. He, uh, yeah. Who hurt him? They apparently they put it in his hands. So whatever he wants to do. And okay, but who hurt him? 
someone who has hurt somebody else before him twice. Well, I just say the name, it doesn't matter. We only have two I days. don't know his name. Oh, uh, I think you're probably <laughs> but, but okay. I, know he's, um, I know he's hurt people. <laughs> the New Day versus Awesome Truth is that what I think it is? Yes, it's awesome okay. Truth. Awesome <laughs> Truth. <laughs> okay. Um versus A Town Down. Who the fuck is that? Austin Theory. Oh. <laughs> and somebody else. <laughs> Austin Theory and somebody else. It's Grayson Waller. I'm not too much of a fan of Oh, Grayson I heard Waller. they're actually good though. Like it's a they good are, team, I've heard. Over Yes, they're I heard over they're as super as well. over right now. <laughs> yes, they are over. And as I fucking well. hate Grayson Waller. That's the dude from yeah. Australia, right? Yes, he's hateable. Yeah. He's a hateable person. He's Fucking hate that guy. Hateable person with an um, He's the. I'm happy they got that guy and um, AEW got Will Ospreay. So, but I will say, was, uh, I will say that um, if if you're hateable, you're doing your job correctly. You know, like yeah, we learned that be, we learned like, that a long time ago. That unless you're CM Punk, I don't know what's going on there anymore. No one knows what's going on with CM Punk anymore. Um, but uh, yeah. And then versus New Catch Republic. Who the fuck is that? Pete Dunne and Tyler Bate. Oh, I could have just been reading it the whole time at the bottom. Yeah, right. Stop complaining. <laughs> um, oh, um, Ridge Holland. Ridge Holland is the wrestler who injured Big E. Who the fuck is that? That's why I didn't remember him. Interesting. Um, so we have uh, belly to belly. oh yeah, belly to belly. Did he not rotate? Outside. That's not probably why he got let like, go. Uh, oh, yeah. Possibly. No, that's the main reason. Uh, Rey Mysterio and Dragon Lee versus Dominic Mysterio and Santos Escobar. So I guess that's Daddy versus Son. Um, <laughs> yeah. I'm surprised this shit is still going, to be honest with you, but it is what it is. Uh, we have Jay Uso well, versus Jimmy. No, I'm saying oh, the no, so the whole Dominic it, and, for a while. and Ray thing. No, I know it has, but like yeah. just to see it pop up again because they need something for WrestleMania. I mean, I guess it makes sense, but yeah. at the end yeah, of the day, like, yeah. yeah. Um. So then we have Jay versus Jimmy, um, which I feel like is just like a double dragon movie. Just with the wrong people. You know what I mean? <laughs> like, it's like... Yeah. Just not dragging you know, people. Just not dragging people. But they, they don't turn into double dragon. Such an underrated movie. Stupid movie. <laughs> Stupid fucking movie. But Alyssa Milano was hot with the short hair. Alyssa Milano was hot with the short hair. Let's let's be honest. She's always hot. She was always hot. And then, um... And then, like, you know, you had... It, it was a good... It, 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 it was fun. I watched that shit a bunch of times when I was young. When I was a young lad. Of course you um, did. I played the video game more. I also... They, they had a video game that came out more recently that was still old school, but like they made it like new school, and it was really good. It was a lot of fun. Um, it was on the PlayStation. It's on the oh, PSN, okay. I think. Yeah, it's... it's. I think it's from like 2017, 2016. Really good game, though. Double I'm Dragon... Re-something. Re yeah, it was a Double Dragon game. Okay. Yeah. I'll look into it one um, if I remember Jade Cargill, Bianca Belair, and Naomi versus Damage Control, Asuka, Dakota Kai, and Kyrie Sane. Oh, Kyrie, how much I love you. And also, that's a, that's a Asuka, nice I love you as well. Um, but Kyrie Sane, Kyrie Sane is the insane elbow, right? So, yes. Tell to me one of the best elbows in the game. I don't care what you, anyone says. You know what like, it is. People be That's saying not, not Macho Man, like I, I love Macho Man's, but Kyrie Sane be looking like a swoosh in the air. It's fucking crazy. I love it. I love it. It's like you can put her right on a shoe, on a Nike shoe, and she's good. Like she she makes it perfectly. Um, yeah, she's so dope at doing that. I don't know how she hasn't broken anything. I would have been broken. Yeah, no, I don't. I don't know how she does it, but she does it. Um, so what's the story behind that one, Jade Cargo? It's just. I was going to say something, but I'd rather not. <laughs> I hate that show. <laughs> oh, my God. But go so, ahead. Um, basically, uh, what's the group? Uh, Damage, Con Damage Control was jumping Bianca Belair and mm. Naomi this last week. And mm -hmm. we have yet to have, have anything from Jade other than a couple of appearances. 
no one I'm saying what, whether she was gonna fight or not, and she came she came out and saved them. She came oh, out okay. with black girl magic. Black girl okay, power. you said it before. I did. Uh, you yes. can say it. Yeah, yeah, black girl yeah, you can say it say more it than I right can. Way. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> you do have to say it the right way. That's fair. That's fair. You do have to yeah. say it the right way. Like, cause I, I, cause as soon as I thought about it, I was like, Alex, don't do it. Don't do it. Don't do it. And I had to like really. No, you can say black girl magic. No, no, no. no. I, I had it. something completely different in my head. Okay. To say. <laughs> All right. All right. Well, chocolate love too. <laughs> you can say that too. But, yeah, you could definitely but, say um, too. yeah, Jade Jade came out and saved them. It looked amazing. She got her moment. I'm loving the fact that she's gonna be at WrestleMania with everyone, with all of them there, and with Cody, who hired her at AEW. So I'm loving that. I am loving that. that yeah, they're gonna it's it's really cool. Yeah, yeah. I'm I'm happy with Cody's that. Third Mania. This is crazy. This is Cody's third. Because he debuted at Royal Rumble two years ago when he first signed it, or at Mania. He debuted at Mania. So yeah, it was the first Mania against Rollins, and then the, the, the second Mania was against um, Tribal Chief the first time, and now yeah. it's be the third time. It, he and then he has two nights this week. This is crazy. oh right, because Seth Rollins didn't know that that was his opponent, right? Yeah. It was a surprise to everyone. Yeah. Yeah, and then he yeah, laughed was, and clapped. I mean, it was a surprise, yeah, but you know, yeah. Yeah. it was a great surprise. Yeah, you know what's crazy? I just thought about it. It's like you had to. I, I was listening. What was I listening to? I was listening to another podcast uh, on the on my drive to work, and they were talking about how like before with wrestling, it was a comedy. Like they always comedians always liken wrestling and comedy like together, and UFC and all that mm-hmm. stuff and everything. Um, because like, it's just the way it is, like, you know, you're constantly performing, like, yeah, timing, all that stuff. So like, they had said, they were just like, yo, remember how you used to have to get your wrestling stuff? You would have to go and get a tape of the pay-per-view, watch it. If you're lucky enough to rent it on time before somebody (laughs) rented it before you, and then you guys would talk about it. There was no internet back then. You would see it in the newspapers. You would see it on ABC. Or ESPN, Wild World of Sports, all that stuff. He was like, he was like, you had to. He was like, you didn't know what was happening in the southeastern spot, but you knew what was happening in the north with WWE, but you didn't know yeah. what was happening in Atlanta with WCW until the if Monday Night Wars. Vacation. If you take a vacation somewhere, you don't know the fucking channels, you don't know the time, and you don't know anything. You don't realize it's wrestling over there, so it's not even a real yeah. thought. And yeah. Then it's so territorial. It's not even the same wrestlers. Yep. So it's like. Yeah, it's, it's the same so thing. With, it's definitely the same thing with comedy. It's so, like, the then you, if, if you saw somebody town, popping town, up, town. If you saw someone popping up, and you're like, holy shit, they're here! Oh my god, what are we, John? Um, that's that's why. How you I doing, do, brother? That's why I haven't been able to. That's why I haven't been able to understand like Vince doing or wanting to do the cross promotions. That's why I never understood why he wouldn't want to do that. You came from the territories because you don't like money. Know, yeah, that too. I don't want to stop. I mean, I he likes money. But he don't like money. We're always gonna say his name. His <laughs> name is in the annals of culture. Yeah. Period. Yeah. He like if he's yeah, the most one of the most memeable faces in the history of the world, especially when he was like doing the last two years. And you remember that fucking yeah. meme where the gift like he's like, <laughs> when who is it? Trish <laughs> is about to take off her fucking. I think her, so. Yeah, yeah, I think it was Trish. Yeah, but um, or, or Tori Wilson, but, yeah. or Stacey Keebler, one of them three. But yeah, like now you get your so like when Cody was a surprise, it's like now nah, we all kind of knew already like that he was gonna be the surprise. It's like when when we knew that these guys were gonna show up at WrestleMania, the Hardys, the Hardys, because we saw them lose at a at Ring, Ring of, of Honor. Honor. <laughs> like we were just like, the and I looked at you, I was like, they're gonna be at WrestleMania, motherfucker. And he was like, nah, 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 like, they're gonna be at WrestleMania, nah, 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 nah. called it called it we we you know it's a lot easier to know those things now and like know what's going to happen because of the rumors you have dave Meltzer, you have all that stuff so it's like a huge different thing altogether now which is cool to see um but yeah so a lot more yeah we have the intercontinental championship gunther has he held it the longest already or no on his way i believe if longest of all time or not 
He can't. He can't have that title for two different titles, can he? That's not fair. But Gunther, deep into a record-setting intercontinental title reign, looks an insurmountable, ta- uh, insurmountable challenge for anyone. He yeah. really does. He's a beast. Yeah. Like I've always liked him, even when he was Big Gunther. Or Walter, Walter, when he was Walter. Sorry, sorry. He wasn't Eric yeah. Gunther. He was Walter. Yeah. <laughs> I corrected myself. I remember. Um, the beer ain't get to me yet. Um, Not yet. But, uh, yeah, like, yeah, it's, that's actually he, really he's a beast. Dope. I would like, like for him to keep going. Like he's, I like the fact that this is what they've done with him. You don't have to have the title. You don't have to have the world title if you're no. be here for a while. But this you is the thing. two long, long streak. They Tyler had to Rogers. make That's the crazy. That's unheard dude, the, of. The Intercontinental Championship match is technically always supposed to be the second to last match. If not yeah. one of the more important for me, if they didn't have the whole next match, which is Cody Rhodes and Seth Rollins versus the Rock and Roman Reigns, if they didn't have that, that would be the main event. Like, let's be honest. Yeah. It would be the main event. Um, so it's you know, like I, I, I want to see Gunther continue on with his reign and breaking whatever record it is he's gonna break, um, because it's just it just looks like more, like I, I just feel like he needs to have that. If you did it with, with this dude Roman Reigns, I don't think he's broken the record because I think the record was something ridiculous. Bruno San Martino, right? Or is he he's closing gonna, in on that? We, he's closing in, but he's it's not gonna happen. If if he win, if Cody wins. I don't know. And I, I don't even know how to feel about that. I really don't. That's something that I wanted to happen last year. This year, I'm like, eh, we're closer. We, we might be able to do it. We might need to do it. But then again, I don't see Cody losing twice in a row. That's crazy. So he held, the, crazy. he held the title how long? How yeah. long has uh, he had it? It says nearly eight years, plus. bro. The WWF no World Heavyweight Championship. Yeah. And Buddy he Rogers, in 48 years. seconds, he held the title for, for oh, a reign of record. For a reign of record, 2,803 days, nearly eight years. Um, yeah, no, he was like the shit. Yeah, WWF, WWF, he's the longest reigning. Like, I don't think he's ever going to touch that. I don't think they want to. I don't, nah, I don't think nah, they can. Nah, 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 nah. I don't think they can retain nah. the attention. It's it's time to lose. But anyways, let's start with the first match. Let's start with the championship match, Rhea Ripley versus Becky Lynch. Does anybody defeat Mommy? Um I don't know. Possibly, but what what do we get? Becky Lynch could do it. Guess where I'm going to be Saturday and Sunday. I guess you're gonna be at is this going to be your first WrestleMania? Sorry, is this going to be your first race, WrestleMania, Rayshon? And he's also on Tribal Chief's balls. He's like, Tribal Chief is that man. You're one of those. You're one of those that goes... It's your first WrestleMania. Oh, oh dude, have fun. That's awesome. Yeah. That's awesome. He's going? Yeah, he's going. Rayshon's going. That's really, really cool. Yeah, the idea was for me, like, I really wanted to go, but it was just too expensive, man. When I was looking at the prices, I was like, nah. I could. This is the thing. Probably, I could have probably ended up in Philly and did the game time app shit and gotten tickets close to the actual value yeah. more often than not, because that's always what happens. Um, I could even, I could even check right now and probably get much better prices than I would have back then. But, um, yo, get the cup. Get your WrestleMania cup. Do not forget to buy a WrestleMania cup. So get your WrestleMania cup because I still have all three back at home in New York. Three, two, three. Three. I went to three. I don't remember. I think I went to three. You went to New York and New York and New Orleans? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, so I was just two. I just went to two. But um, get your cup. And, uh... I don't think you have a piss break match anymore like you used to with The Undertaker, where we were lucky enough to have a piss break match with The Undertaker because he <laughs> takes six minutes that to get to long. the ring. So, he had some time. To beat um, but, uh, dude, you're going to have fun. Do you have good seats? Or, like... Are you going we, didn't, we didn't have great seats either. We didn't have, he said he's going both nights. He has Saturday and Sunday. Um, nice. So, he's... 
he's good. I I don't envy you having to go both nights though. Because oh, yeah, no, yeah. No, I but I that. also understand the reasoning for it because bro, we were in that stadium for seven hours. Let's be honest. Remember that shit was long. We got there like I at four and le- yeah, it was bad. Those chairs were bad. not comfortable. Mercedes Benz Stadium. What the hell? Most yeah. uncomfortable chairs. Yeah. I was, it was I was like this. It was cool, and we mostly watched it on the Titatron and everything, which is cool. I mean, you can still see it, but like, yeah. you know, it was still like, you know, we were far enough away. I hope you got some good seats. I hope you have fun. Um, so who's winning? You're saying that uh mommy's winning or is Becky Lynch winning? It's going to be a, a good fight. I think she, Mommy retains. Think there's no man. reason for her to win. I mean, there's no reason for the man to win, I think. Do you think... Do you What's think the reason? Houses, do you think the house is going to be sad? Do you think the man and Seth Rick and Rollins are going to be sad? Why? You think they're both going to have losses? On night one? Yeah, I think so. But then you just make another baby, and you're fine. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. I definitely see the bloodline winning. I know we're not there, but that's yeah. Um, I like that. I, I, I that's that's doable. There's really no reason for Becky to win. I don't think there's a reason for Becky to win. Um, I think you just yeah. keep writing the hot hand right now, and uh, just you know why she's, she's, un- she's yeah. under everybody's yeah. skin. Exactly, Rhea like is she's. Over. Why? Why not keep it going with her? Like she became a massive superstar yeah. that nobody. I don't think much people expected her to become that massive of a, of a superstar. Even not that her bad. being a beast in the NXT, even then, I don't think anybody really realized how much of a beast she was gonna be. A little bit. You can see it a little bit. You can see it. You right. could see it back it, then. You can miss it. You can still miss it. You yeah. can definitely still yeah. miss it, depending on who you are. You can definitely still miss it because it was all over the, all over NXT TV, all over YouTube, all over Twitter. Like she was getting a lot of love and appreciation, yeah, and a lot more adoration and some attention that she might not have needed. Correct. But she, yeah, she was good. She was good, enough, yeah. and it was easy, to, easy to see. Um. Next, we have the undisputed WWE Tag Team Championship match in a six-pack ladder match. So, ladder match with six uh, teams. Judgment Day, DIY, New Day, Awesome Truth, A-Town Down, New Catch Republic. Who you got? New A-Town Catch Down. Down. I think A-Town Down wins. I hope they do. I hope they do. That's the team. That's really the Again, team. I haven't I seen, but judging by the fact that they're over and everything, like, now's the time to just have, just learn when to capitalize on certain things like don't drop the ball like you have before on a lot of stuff um judgment day having the belts is cool uh Ooh, he's saying the title truth. might get or, split or truth. the title might Wait, get split title? uh the tag team i don't feel like they should just like it should all be unified championships like i don't i'm i'm tired of having split titles for smackdown and whatever like it's it should all, just mix the shows like it used to be. They're predominantly on one, but they could show up on the other, call it a day. It's all WWE. You don't have to do SmackDown versus Raw Survivor Series. It doesn't mean shit anymore. Like, let's, let's just not pretend. Um, I, I, think, I think I'll go with A-Town Down on this one. Like, uh, that's that's my pick. Just Or it's either A-Town Down or Judgment Day. Like, I don't see any of the other ones me. winning. For me, it's Awesome Truth or A Town Down. Uh, Ron Truth has been through a lot. I didn't even realize it last uh, year. He had uh, he had surgery on his leg three times because of a uh, a leakage in his leg. He lost like fifty pounds, but he came back. He came back in Survivor Series, so he lost a little Jimmy's know. worth of weight then. Pretty much, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Pretty much, he loves a little Jimmy worth of weight. But hopefully, yeah, hopefully, it's either one of them two for me, either Awesome Truth or A Town Down. And I like both members of Awesome Truth, so I don't know how how that goes. Okay. 
I mean, it should be an interesting match. Ladder matches are always fun to watch. They won't go as hard yeah. as Revolution. Not and always. People going through things. But for the most part, do you, you remember? You do what? you remember? Hold on. Do you remember the Money in the Bank during the pandemics? The two, the 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 two men and women Money in the Banks and on the roof. It was pretty bad. It was bad. It, it was, was pretty bad. bad. I it try not bad. to remember that. That's when Rey Mysterio died. He got thrown off the roof, but not really. But <laughs> you see, for me, die. if I get thrown off the roof, if I get thrown off the roof, like don't come back for a year. That's that's your that's your excuse to not be back for like a year. Like for me, it's like I, I'm gonna take I'm a break, mad, or at least six months. I'm gonna be in Mexico, like chilling in Cancun or in Tulum or doing something else than wrestling. Cause it's like nah. That would have been the best time to be with to pair up him with Bray Wyatt. That I agree. Been the best time. I agree. I agree. That would have been great. Yeah. Come on, Rey Mysterio with a dead gimmick. I would have been like dope. A good, like a zombie Mysterio. A zombie Ray. Yeah, that would have been dope. Mysterio. That would have been dope. Um, let's see. Oh, speaking of which, uh, Rey Mysterio and Dragon Lee versus his son and Santos Escobar. This is gonna be a really good match, except for Dominic, because you have literally <laughs> three legit luchas, like legit fucking luchas. Well, he and, has to be able to work with and them. Dominic. Now, I'm not saying he can't work with them. I'm just saying he's not a lucha. He's not. He's just not. This is true. Let's be He's honest. He's odd man out. He's, He's like, tall. no, it doesn't <laughs> matter that you're tall because you look at somebody like Luchasaurus, he can make those moves. And you look people that have that are making these fucking Lucha moves in a big bull's head fucking mask, like, and st- like, you know, Luchasaurus. like. A Lucha huh? door. Luchasaurus isn't a Lucha door. He's not, but he can do He's the moves. The not the same. He's a Lucha dinosaur, so it kind of works out. He's a, he's a lucha dino. He's a Mexican dinosaur. It's fine. <laughs> but he's not. He should have been. He should have had an accent. It would have made so much more I sense. I would have spoken with an accent. It would have been funny. Um, but I, I don't know who to call this for. I think this is, a, this is the piss break match, I believe. We've identified the piss break yeah, match. Rey Mysterio and Dragon Lee versus Dominic. This is, this is when you can but go it's pee. it's not. It is. But it's it not. is, but it's, it's not. Three luchadors. It's three luchadors, but it is, but it's not because it is this though. Is 19, this is because it doesn't matter. Old. Doesn't matter. Okay. Oh, yeah. It's a piss break match. Are you gonna have fun yeah, watching this, this match? Matter. Potentially, yes. Yes, because okay. this could be this could be one of the hidden gems of the night. It could be one yeah. of the hidden gems because of the. The whole storyline behind it be and this and that. Game. Like, I think it could be one of the matches that people don't expect to be that good, to be that good. Or, yeah, it's a piss break match. Like, full and for like, full on piss break match. So, either way. But it's just, it's it's a time saver between, because honestly, you can't have another championship match or another important match afterwards, after a six-pack ladder match. You have to have the slowdown moment to then move on to Jay. Versus Jimmy. Yeah. Which is a momentous match because, you know, they're brothers. You know, they're happy and they're <laughs> sitting and they're Samoan. Da-na-na-na. I couldn't say the other part. I, I, know, I just knew that's where you were going. I just knew. Um, I, I don't know why. I just knew that's the direction. It's because we're, we're both assholes and we've known each other since 2000s. Five, three, four, 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 four five, three, four, five. It's a long four, time, four. bro. That's yeah. twenty years. 20 years. That's twenty or twenty-one oh years. God. Yeah, that's crazy. Um, but yeah, so doing math. Oh my god, I know, right? Real time math, not like having to use your calculator and shit. Yeah, I mean, it was only twenty-four minus twenty. What? So, or uh, abacus. I guess, or that's twenty-four cool. minus four. I don't know. Whatever. Um, yeah, I pick. Which one's the good one? Jay, right? Jay? Which one's the fat one and which I one's the... Jimmy. <laughs> Why? Well, he's not fat uh, anymore. Day one exactly Uso. Samoan. Leave him alone. Well, no, I'm, well, a, I'm not saying like Jay he's Uso. not fat. He's just slightly heavier than the other one. He was never fat. I mean, yeah. there was a point when he I, did I'm, get a little I chubby. I can't differentiate the two outside of a haircut. 
I can't do it. I swear I can't. I don't know who's who unless I see the hair. That's what I'm telling you. They and pulled the switcheroo at least once or twice on Naomi. I'm just saying. Um, Maybe so, not her. Maybe somebody else. Maybe someone else. Maybe. <laughs> but you'll never know. Else. Or maybe she'll be able to tell, know. hey, you're the fat one. Get out. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> fucking ass up. Love handles. More, more you're like, love hmm, handles. you have more love handles than you're supposed to. Get out. <laughs> Jimmy is in red. Okay. And then the other guy's in blue. So it, it is double dragon. It's double dragon. <laughs> it's literally the same thing. Uh, it's ready. It's just ready player one. That's what this shit is. No, it's double dragon. <laughs> I mean, we're going towards there now that we have the fucking the Apple thingy thing. What's it called? Um. So after that, we have the... What, how did you put it? Black magic. <laughs> what the fuck black, oh my god! Oh my! Black girl magic. Black, black girl magic. magic. <laughs> Sorry, there you go. I'm an asshole. That's what I'm saying. Like I don't know how to. So black girl magic uh, versus damage control. I mean, oh. black magic, black girl magic. It's all the same thing. Like I meant it in a good, positive way. It, it, uh, shut up! Thing. It's the same thing. It, uh, that's, <laughs> new, that's that's the new elite stuff you're talking about. <laughs> Yeah, because you didn't want to go into the fucking. He, he didn't want to do no guy. Right. No, you didn't want to do no ghost tours. You didn't want to go do any of that like cool shit. And then when I'll I'm not gonna lie, I'm not gonna lie. Ghost tours. No, you wouldn't. I asked you a bunch of times, like, "Yo, can we do a ghost story?" You're like, yeah, nah. I was like, Psst. "Come on, let's do a ghost story." You're like, yeah, nah. I was like, don't don't fucking lie to me, you motherfucker. I don't remember. I said I'll do it, but I don't know. But crazy. we went no, to that voodoo what location. Was, that's what happened. That motherfucker was creepy. Because as soon as we walked in, we were like, oh, no. <laughs> like, we felt that shit, that oppressive nature. And then there, there was a Baphomet in the corner and in case glass. And it's like, don't take a picture of it because your phone's going to have a Baphomet in it. And then you're done. And I was just like, yeah, I want to take a picture, though. But uh, and then there was that there was that girl that we talked to on the like that was there. And she could tell, like, it was just so weird when we walked in there because it was just like you. We both felt it, and then we're walking around it's looking for it. As soon as yeah, you in. yeah, and then we walk around looking for whatever it is, and we see it, and we're like, "Oh, it's you! It's the Baphomet that's in the fucking glass <laughs> casing, like obviously." And the funny thing is, the girl was like, "Oh, you guys could tell that it was that, but obviously it was that. Like we felt something as soon as we walked in. Yeah, it was, um, it was like but it was an interesting shot." It was an interesting shot. Like I like the shot. I don't know what it New Orleans was. got that real voodoo. Shine. Of course they do. They're like a skip hopping away from fucking, what's it called? From And, and, and spicy food. From Haiti. 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 And, yeah, exactly. Correct. So it's, uh yeah, but again, back to the black girl magic. As yeah. I said, let's talk about, let's talk the about first it. time, the correct time. Um, <laughs> and then uh, damage control. I, who do you think wins this one? I think they're gonna have to give the win to Jade. Obviously, she's gonna have to she have the pin. the pin. She's who does yes. she get the pin on though? Does she get it on? Ky- I don't think you get it on Asuka. I think you get it on Dakota or Kyrie. Dakota. Yeah, because I mean, Jade on yeah Jade on Dakota. That's the only way. I, like, I, I don't even give her the okay to pin Kyrie or Asuka. To be honest with you, it has to be That's Dakota. What I'm um, if you really know. want him to make, if you really want her to, yes, Asuka is the one. Asuka is the one goes. that she pins, and then there's a thing. That's the story. That's the story for the next Correct. six months. Damage that control to keep the storyline going. What's the storyline? They're just jumping bitches. Pretty, is that yeah, what they're doing? Much. Straight up, just jumping. Damage control. Get your okay. ass up out of here. We whoop your ass. Get out. And are are they like are defending they democracy or something by doing that, or just Man, uh, we don't just like for funsies? Just for funsies. We don't like your kind around here. <laughs> Jesus. You were supposed to repeat it. Jesus. <laughs> Damn. You were not to You're making that. these Asians and wannabe Asian like seem like they're racist. Wait, is Dakota Kai like part Asian? Because she kind of looks like she might be, but I don't know. I'm going to look it up. I'm going to look it up, Dakota Kai. (laughs) You was not supposed to repeat that. I swear you were not. You're a horrible person. I mean, I am a horrible person. Don't get me wrong. (laughs) She's almost Asian. She's from New Zealand. So, kind of? But you can still be. She's not New Zealand. So what is she? 
No, she's from New Zealand. What's her background? That's her place of origin. Sorry, she's from New Zealand. I don't know. Don't tell me shit about her parents. What's her personal life? T? Personal life. Yeah. Uh, Samoan village of Lapea on the island of Opulu. Oh, okay. So she's Ooh. kind of, but not Irish and Samoan descent. That's crazy. Irish and Samoan. Yeah. Okay, that's a nice mix. I you guess. get a pass as Asian because you're technically South Southeast Asian. You're technically Oceanic more than you are Asian, but you get a pass to be with the Asians. Just saying. I was gonna say something I know I should not have said. I'm sure you were. <laughs> I'm sure you were. Uh, I can't do it two times in a row. I can't. I don't know. I think you gotta give. I understand what he's saying by damage control to keep the storyline going, but you kind of got to give Jade Cargo a debut win. Since she technically had a good debut at WrestleMania, at WrestleMania, at Royal Rumble. Um, yeah, yeah. She had a Royal good, Rumble, she, she, she had a good debut. She had a good debut. Like, yeah, I, she, I, I enjoyed she it. She a couple of people yeah. out, a good amount of people out. Yeah, she was good. Yeah, she had a good debut. Um, So, she has, I think their team has to win because the Kodakai and her... And well, I mean, damage control overall, they've yeah. just been doing so. Wait, so isn't is damage control still with this girl? Because I only see these three, no, but it was they, four of them. I believe they jumped. Um, they kicked they, her out yeah. too. Oh, it's because she has yeah. no Asianism in her. Got it. Okay. Um, <laughs> got it. This got group it, got should it. just be called the Kabuki Warriors again. Like, no, I didn't like that name. It was too, too on the nose. Yeah. yeah. There's anything wrong with it if they call themselves that, but they didn't call themselves that. I don't think they did. Um, okay, yeah. I'm, then I'm, we have the I'm, Intercontinental I'm, I'm, Continent, inter, Wow, I completely fucked that up. Intercontinental Championship oh match. Uh, Gunther versus Sami Zayn. Um, what's going on there? Who do you got? I, I already said about Gunther to win. Um, it really Makes doesn't sense matter. for Gunther to win. I'm... I don't need Sami Zayn winning. There's no reason to for him to go. I, yeah, I go just in. haven't been watching, so I don't know. Yeah, I'm not too sure. I can't. Say so that. Cody and Seth versus The Rock and Roman Reigns. Um, yeah, I don't. Think I feel Roman like Roman loses two nights in a row. I feel like The Rock and Roman Reigns are gonna win tonight. The the first night they have to win. I because I you can't see- lose twice in a row. Like you said. Exactly. And The Rock is coming out of nowhere after having how, him, how many years off before, before the his The only match. way he loses. No I way. see them losing is if the Roman Reigns spears The Rock accidentally and then they get into the whole thing and they lose in some stupid format and then Roman Reigns loses the title and then it's not about the title anymore. It's just about you dumb little fucking cousin. Why couldn't you spear the guy <laughs> that you were supposed to spear, not me, you dumb little shit? So that's yeah, the way I think it happens. Otherwise, the Rock and Roman Reigns, I feel like they'll win. And then Cody Rhodes has, has to win to at least make a statement the next day because it's like, yeah, you, you know, like, so uh, you can, but you can, yeah. but that's the only way it'll make sense if Roman Reigns, because you can't accidentally rock bottom somebody. Let's be honest. Yeah, um, that's not that. That's you can't do that. <laughs> yeah, like you can't be like, oops, I rock bottom the wrong person. It's not like you're playing fucking like I don't WWE know two K and don't you know. click the wrong thing and you focus on the wrong person and rock bottom the wrong person. Can't do yeah, that. That's a, that's a lot right there. That, that um, right there, you explaining that is a lot. <laughs> I know. I'm just exactly. Uh, so, so, yeah. So after that, we have the World Heavyweight Championship match in the night two, night two, night two. So we have the World uh, English, the World Heavyweight Championship. Uh, Seth Rollins versus Drew McIntyre. Then after that, we have the Final Testament, Karrion Cross and Authors of Pain. Oh, AOP's back in um, versus Bobby Lashley yeah. and the Street Profits. Um, LA Knight versus AJ Styles. Uh, United States Championship, Logan Paul versus Randy Orton and Kevin Owens. Um, I think that's going to be one of the matches of the night. We'll continue there. The WWE Women's Championship, uh, EO Sky versus Bayley. 
I also love EO Sky. I just love all the Asians. It's not my fault. It's fine. Um, versus Bailey. Um, should be really, 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 really good match. That's probably also going to be yep. a really, really fucking good match. I think, I, so. I, think I, so. I think that's probably one of the better ones in the night, too. I think night two is better stacked than the first night. That's just me. But um, And then uh, you have the it's Undisputed WWE on first one. Universal Championship, Roman Reigns versus Cody Rhodes. So, first match. Seth Rollins or Drew McIntyre? I'm going like... to go with... Seth? It really just depends on what happens on night one. If Seth loses night one, I don't see him losing twice in a row. Correct. Either, but I don't know. But he can. He can. See... Yeah, he can. I, I definitely see Drew coming out as champion. I can see that. So he seems to think that The Rock loses due to his help from a special guest, maybe Stone Cold. Okay, or maybe Vince. Vince. Or maybe Vince. <laughs> please no, um, please no. I would do it just to <laughs> fuck with everyone. Um, I say Seth Rollins should win. Does it matter if he wins? I don't think so. I don't think so. I'm not sure if he does, yeah. You know, it's the end of the... It's the same you want to take it away saying. from him? Like, take it away from him. Yeah. I mean, he's been holding it down, but he's been injured for a couple of weeks too, so he needs the time off. And you're doing two matches, one after the other, so yeah. Maybe yeah. maybe pass it up for a little bit. Um. So... The next one we have the final testament, Karen Cross and Authors of Pain versus Bobby Lashley and the Street Prophets. So Black Magic this time. Yes, yes. See, so I was Black so mad magic. when I said it the last time. No, it's the way you said it. That's why I said Black Man Magic. Black Magic, Black Man Magic. Pause. Yes. <laughs> Either way, same thing, right? Um, I don't know. Um, final testament. I'm... Yeah, I they've been brawling for things. months. Like they've been going back and forth. They have. Who's had the upper hand? I uh, have not been watching this. One. I feel like it's I haven't not been anything. The I feel like the, this is the Street Profits this is and Bobby break. Lashley probably. It's too early for a pits break. I think LA Knight versus AJ Styles, or no. I don't know. They have good chemistry. It could be, but they have good chemistry from being in TNA. So you never know. Fair. Fair. So, I think that versus AJ Styles. I mean, I think that's a good one. Yeah, it, it is. On paper, it's AJ a good Styles. One. I feel like AJ Styles. It's the same thing like Nakamura and AJ Styles. It depends on who's producing. The- <laughs> it really depends on who's producing the match. Boy, did they drop the- that fucking match, man. Did they... Oh, my God. If you just watch the <laughs> New Japan one and you watch the one that they did at WrestleMania where we went... That way we went... We saw- that wasn't live. We didn't see that live. That wasn't That New was at New Orleans, wasn't it? It couldn't have been. Please. I no could have been. sworn it was at New Orleans. Yeah, I remember I it being at New Orleans. That is horrible. It was. Oh, shit. <laughs> it That's was. why we were annoyed. That's why we were, like, we were there. And it's like, it's nowhere near the same caliber. You know, we thought you were going to get some strong style crazy shit. And we did no. not. No. It wasn't? AJ had the AJ had the match with Miz. It was a four way match. Miz Rollins and who else was it? It was Miz Rollins and AJ and someone else. So when did they have that the match? Four way IC title. Was it the year that before? Was it? On, on, no, I don't think that was on a, on a Mania. Dude, it had to have been. I don't know. Definitely not the one we went to. Mm, I don't know. I remember seeing it. Live, I don't know if I'm thinking like live on TV. <laughs> I don't know. I don't remember. Yeah, I don't remember. But I could have sworn we were in, we were in person there. Um, I could have sworn. That's that's just me. That's just me. Uh, so after that we okay, have no, Logan. It was Seth Rollins. It was a three way match. Seth Rollins and and um Finn Balor. 
and Miz. Uh, AJ and Shinsuke it was for the WWE. 20 minutes. That was a 20 minute match. And it was a shit 20 minute. It wasn't shit, but it just wasn't what <laughs> it we were. It was a shitty ass 20 minutes. Told you. Um, which was technically the piss break. I mean, they had two piss breaks that time, but it is what it is. Uh, but you know what it is, too? I think the fact that we were there for such a long time, too. We were probably like yes, on the fatigue side of, of things. We were just sitting there like. It's like, why is this happening? Why is yeah, this happening? Yeah. This is happening? Yeah. Is, yeah, yeah. It was a lot. It was um, a fatigue and anger. <laughs> so <laughs> we have the United States Championship, Logan Paul, Randy Orton, Kevin Owens. Think it's going to be the match of the night? Could be. Um, what do we it's think about Logan Paul now? The night is going to have the most spots. It's gonna oh, it's for sure going to have the most spots. You know, Logan Paul is getting RKO'd in a very creative way. Yes, he's definitely going to get RKO'd. And it's probably going to go right into a stun or something. Paul retain. He thinks Paul retains. I think Paul could retain. I think so, too. Yeah. I don't see why not. Yeah. I, yeah, uh, Randy, he's not... He's helping out at this point. He's not really d- doing all the work. He's helping out as far as putting other people over. I don't see him taking the title. KO is KO. I think it's... I don't know if they're going to... I don't think they're going to put the title on him. I think it's good to just keep it to, with Paul. Like, they've... Like, yeah. Randy and Kevin Owens are in that bringing up the new generation moments. So like, Honestly, yeah. KO already had his moments um, with, you know, the belts and all that stuff. And Cena. Yeah. So, like, it's... Uh, I can see Logan Paul keeping it for sure. Um, and then we have the WWE Women's Championship, EO Sky versus Bailey. Uh, I did see the Royal Rumble. Bailey, should she have won? Yeah, I get it. Um, I don't know if she beats EO Sky. Can she? Of course, she can, one hundred percent. Um, but you know you're gonna get a segment where. Damage control comes out. Sorry. Damage control comes out. (laughs) And then Bianca and her group, Black Girl Magic, comes out. And then something happens. And maybe Bailey wins based off of that. Um, And it kind of adds fuel to the fire a bit. Maybe. I would like to have a woman's version of that where they kind of go all out on each other. Like, it, you know? Like, if they beat the shit out of each other, like, that would be cool. It's like, oh, (laughs) shit. Because, let's be honest, sometimes women go much harder than men. So, A lot of times, yeah. I've seen those street fights on Twitter that be popping up. (laughs) Okay. Women be going in. I'm just saying, like, they could go. Women are brutal. (laughs) Women can be brutal. Yes, they are. That's all I'm saying. Mama bears. Uh, But, yeah. Yeah. I think he seems to agree with us that Bailey gets her moment. So, yeah, I I wholeheartedly agree. Um, And then we have the Roman Reigns versus Cody for the WWE Universal Championship. Um, Does Cody win? If Cody doesn't win, does does Paul Heyman throw two chickens in the ring? Chicken. He threw two rubber. He threw a rubber chicken in the ring next to him last year. A I would throw two. Chicken. I would throw two. I would have two. <laughs> like what is that? Is disrespectful? I don't, I don't even know. What, I didn't know what to say for the uh, the whole year. That's crazy. He threw a rubber chicken in there, and it's it's pictures. Somebody so, did an animation. So is the Rock gonna intervene in this, or is? The bloodline. I don't know. It says stipulation to be t- to be determined by the result of night one's main event. I don't know. I can see. A, <laughs> I can Yo, see a triple threat match. You know what would be crazy? This is how this is how you put them over. Not a triple threat match. Handicap match for the title. He has to okay. be both of them. You have to pin both of them. You no, not pin both of them. You Elect- in a handicap like match, you could pin one of them. No, you, or you okay, could do no, that, not, not or you could do that. That'd be even crazier because technically you could have like an hour and a half match there where it's chickens. like two rubber chickens. 
So I feel like you could do a handicap match where he's at a complete disadvantage because we don't do this type of shit anymore. You know what I mean? Like they don't do have this type of creative stuff in their mind. You have a handicap match. He has to defeat both of them, not both of them, like back to back, but like pin one of them yeah. or to your point where it's a two pin elimination. You have to pin one of them, then they're eliminated and then continue fighting and pin the other one then to win a championship. This is yeah. us being bookers and you know, that's how I would do it if you could. Like I feel like a handicap yeah, match would be the ultimate way to put him over because he beat both of them. You know what I mean? If that's a stipulation. That's mm-hmm. why I think that's why I think now that, that there's a stipulation like, now that there's twice. a stipulation I think now that we know there's a stipulation after whoever wins night one, that's why I think Roman and and The Rock win night one to make it as hard as possible for Cody Rhodes. Yeah. So and then The Rock later announced that Rhodes would never receive uh, on this beautiful championship shot um, if he lost to Reigns. So pretty much the same thing going that happened in AEW, um, but it can't happen this time. He has to win. But that's what I'm saying. Like. Yeah. It ha- and I feel like a handicap match or him being a special guest referee, which is as good as a handicap match, is what yeah. I think that's really probably what it's going to be. The Rock is a special guest referee. I feel like that might be it. And that's technically a handicap match. So, like, I don't have to count for you. Like, you make it as unfair as possible for him. And, yeah, because yeah. I even saw, I saw that recently on even in the video game. So, like, in WWE 2K24, if you have... The bloodline, right? So if you have Jay and Jimmy there, this is free them getting like split and whatever because that's how they have it coded there. But if you have, it's either if you have Jay or Jimmy or I don't remember. It was, uh, what's the other one called? Solo. So if you have Solo in the ring and Jimmy's the special guest referee, if you pin Solo, he does not count. The computer does not count at all or he counts super slow. And like it makes it as hard as possible and if Jimmy okay. pins, and if, like, let's say Solo pins um, the opponent, he'll come, one, two, three, like, immediately count it quickly, or he'll, like, he'll give him rope breaks for no reason in the middle of the ring. He'll call a rope break. <laughs> like, so I feel like you have to make it incredibly difficult, like, just to have this happen, um, to make it happen it for him to finish his story. I think that was the one thing that was actually missing as far as what, why are they doing it a second time? And that's why the rock had to come and they had to make it difficult. They had to make it yeah. way more difficult. It's, it's more than just the bloodline. It was already the bloodline. Who else is it now? Yeah, correct. Correct. Um, yeah. But yeah, that's, that's everything for, for both nights. I think it has, I think night two is better stacked, honestly. Um, yeah. Overall, it's, it's I think. Better laid out. It's, honestly speaking, you're it's one good match each time. Yeah, it's you're not setting. One, yeah, you. You might have a, a a break a piss break match, but it's not really. It's not a bad match. I think night one is mostly set up, obviously, for night two. Like you can't have night one be better than night two, ob- for obvious fucking yeah. reasons. Um, even though sometimes New Japan's night one would be much better than night two. A lot of times, like, in Wrestle Kingdom, we were like, dude, you can't unbalance it this way. But, um, but yeah, now Wrestle Kingdom is only one night. So, like, they pulled back from this two-night shit because they lost a bunch of people. They, like, now Okada's in AEW, which I was like, what? Like, um, so, yeah. Just a lot of stuff that's going on. That's really what should just call it a day. Now, yeah. Now. Yeah, now oh, New Japan is actually doing uh, a partnership with all the Japanese wrestling companies. DDT. I mean, they should have been done that. Yeah, we know they that. should have been done that. <laughs> but, you know, we've been saying that shit for years, but it is what it is. Um, but, yeah, well, so... Up. Yeah, yeah. I think a couple of years too late, but they, they at least they caught up now. Um, so what other stuff do you have to talk about? Um, I am actually currently watching the Bray Wyatt Becoming Immortal documentary. Well, not watching. Well, watching, not listening. Kind of watching. Um, yeah. yeah, yeah. It seems interesting. They got some, some, some cut scenes from, whatchamacallit, from FTW before it was NXT. Oh, okay. So it's a lot of actual stuff going on here. I'm waiting to see what they said about dad, IRS. Mm-hmm. He was in there as well, so 
I'm, I have to see what they said about that. Other than that, uh, I, have you seen the CM Punk interview? Who interviewed him? Uh, Ariel Halani. He's 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 shooting the shit again. Mm, talking it's shit again. It's not as bad as before. Yeah, it's not as bad as before. He said basically the whole situation with um him and um Jack uh Jack Perry was mm. was just a whole bunch of bullshit. Blown out Jack of proportion. Perry, yeah, well, nah, not really. He just made some really dumb decisions, and yeah, it was blown out of proportion. He reacted when he didn't need to re- really react, yeah, and I've... that Tony Khan li- didn't really have much control over background happening, backstage happening. So Tony Khan never did. Yeah, let's be fair. Like, and this is the thing. Like, I get that now. Roman Reigns is that obvious authority figure and obviously you have john cena whenever he comes back and this and that like you don't have i think the person like the undertaker that's the leader of the locker room type shit like in aw i feel like who who jericho mox mox kingston i can see kingston archer Oh, no. Nah, nah, nah that's not sure i can see kingston just, <laughs> yeah. i don't want to say just tall but <laughs> i can see kingston <laughs> Um, probably being that guy, cause New York don't play no shit. But um, Yonkers. you know, it's still New York. It's fine. Yeah. It's like up. It's like the Upper Bronx, you know. It really is that in Mount Vernon. Same Your thing. houses aren't that much nicer than Riverdale, so I like, uh, want to hear it. <laughs> like, oh man, you That's know, over there. you know, it's over there. Huh? But yeah, I don't know. They they should they should have somebody over there. I think it's one. Of, I think it would be Kingston or Mox that would actually yeah, be yeah. there. But then all that but, stuff doesn't yeah, happen. Know. You know what I mean? Like that stuff gets squashed. I mean, shit still happens. Shit's gonna happen, but yeah. it's just not as. I don't know. I feel like when pointless. you had like an Undertaker it's figure, it's pointless to it's solve not that so shit. So much going on. Yeah, it's not so much going on over and over and over. Like this is. CM, it can't blame CM Punk, but it was definitely two situations that CM Punk was in. You could blame CM Punk. One guy I think we could all blame CM Punk. I think so, too. <laughs> the Come problem on, is, like, the whole situation it's, you're, you're the problem, bro. Like, just, well. you know, like, you're the problem. Just, let's just be honest. Like, it is what it is. Like, just yeah. admit it. It's okay. It's okay. Just accept that you're the problem and work on it from there. And if you don't want to work on it, that's like, fine, too. Cool. You're a grown-ass man. Nobody I'm can tell you what to do. To make- he said, I'm not here to make friends. I'm here to make money. I said, oh, there we go. Well, there we go. We, we, we knew it was a money grab just as much as everyone knows. Knows. Though, everyone knows. Even though you said you didn't want to, you wasn't sure, you got the love and you understood it was not, it's not just money, but come on. The love, the love and appreciation is definitely there, but definitely the money. We knew it was. We definitely knew it was a money grab. Yeah, for sure. Yeah. For sure. Um, that's really it. Yeah, I don't have anything That's really else. it, right? Yeah, pretty much. Um, yeah. I mean, I think that's, you know, we could just end it here. Like, we have a lot more stuff to talk about uh, the next week. We'll reminisce a lot more, probably, because it's, like, the final, final episode. Um, yes. But, you know, thank you guys for hanging out for part one. Part two oh, next week thing. is probably Wednesday. What's up? What's up, Jer? Uh, <laughs> Mercedes Monet is doing is looking amazing in AEW. She hasn't had a match yet, but she's looking amazing. Will Ospreay's matches are amazing over there. It's Will Ospreay, bro. Like, that's... I mean, it's just he is had he an the amazing best match in the world right now. Like. He had a he had right? a great match with, with Will Hobbs last night. Oh my God! I did not think that could happen. Well, it, and Hobbs is not a bad wrestler. It's just yeah. not his style to wrestle. Him. Yeah, great styles mix. A great style mixture. Would you call it a styles clash? <laughs> no. Stop it! This is what Florida's done to me. See what this is what Florida's done to me. Um, but yeah, I got. <laughs> it would have been me to do that, and you would have been like, 
fuck out of here. I mean, you know, it is what it is. Role reversal in the last couple of episodes. Who gives a shit? It is, it is what it is. Um, you still interrupt it anyway like you always do because you're a jerk. Anyway. You know <laughs> what's going to happen. You but I know it's going to happen. But, guys, uh, thank you guys so much for hanging out, um, reminiscing with us, doing the WrestleMania preview, uh, for chatting in the chat. Uh, Ace, Die Hard, uh, Ray Sean, um, tiny black girl isn't here. She usually comes on and says hi. Yeah. But it's okay. Oh, happy birthday to Lil Chamomile. Lil Chamomile, happy birthday. How old is she now? Like 12? Yes. For real? Or 13? Holy oh, 13, shit. I believe. Yeah, my niece just turned seven earlier this year, so shit happens. But uh, yeah, no, for sure. For sure. Uh, we could definitely have you pop in on the last uh, episode for a few on um discord just like you might not be on video but like you know just your audio coming through that's perfectly fine Rayshawn, if you want to pop through um ace or diehard as well if y'all want to come through as well and talk and just talk shit in the last one um should be fun for a bit uh but again we'll reminisce some more i'll probably have like a i'll probably work on I'm, I'm gonna try to work on something for the last last episode like a little like real type thing i don't know if i'm gonna be able to do it i'm not promising anything but it's, uh, you know, just all the fun moments, um, but definitely not promising because yeah. I worked this weekend. If I didn't work this weekend, I'd probably have the time to do it, but we'll see from there. I think we're shooting for Wednesday this time next week. Um, we were supposed to do it last night, but Alex being Alex didn't prepare properly and forgot to um, set everything up properly beforehand. So we had to move it to today, you, but you reminded me to do that. And I was also, stu- I was also stuck in a uh, traffic for like, wow. So, um. Yeah. Good so Miami traffic. Yeah, exactly. So, <laughs> guys, thanks so much for watching. You can follow us on Twitter at Pokes and Chokes. Myself at underscore Mr. Alex twenty five underscore the guy on the other side dancing at N U underscore underscore K E W L A. Slowing it down. You can listen to us on Spotify, Apple Podcasts, Google Podcasts, kind of, sort of, Stitcher and Transistor. I don't know if Stitcher is even a thing anymore. I think it is, but um, it's not. It's not, it's not, right? It's not, it's done. Stitch is no. done. Yeah, I've been saying Stitcher it's, for, it's, it's fine. fine. It's okay. <laughs> it is what it is. Um, and uh, yeah, click the link tree link in the description below um, if you just want to see some things. Again, we're going to be coming back next week. And it's just a podcast that's finishing. It's not like the brand and just us. Like we're just trying to figure out what we really want to do and how to evolve it. Maybe we might do something more documentary like or maybe just talk about specific yeah. subjects or this and that within the wrestling thing um, interviews or something. yeah maybe interviews like maybe i might just go around one day and like go to like a indie show down here and interview random like wrestlers that are on the up and up maybe i go to orlando enough because of my fiance yes i'm talking to you directly now sense. i go to orlando enough so <laughs> maybe i could see like nxt stuff or they're not even there anymore though right they just go along with everyone else the different things anymore so they they're not they're even at full sale anymore yeah they're on tour oh, so um, maybe there's TNA. some TNA. tna yeah so maybe TNA. you know maybe i could finally go to fucking are they still at universal no they're at full sale oh they're at full sale now. so maybe i'll go to winter park instead announced. of you know and going to see like you know tna over there instead of always going to disney every time <laughs> but yes <That's> fun. <laughs> blink twice if you if you're lying to yourself <laughs> really 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 You're it's hard. fun when i go <laughs> eat and drink at epcot that's it and maybe really? yeah, so maybe like guardians epcot, maybe epcot guardian maybe me may, nah go have you been on guardians of the galaxy yet nah you gotta come down no and i haven't it's one of the best rides you'll ever be on so just okay. fyi um that's but yes guys epcot? yeah it's at epcot yeah and then the okay, tron one is cool is tron came out too that was dope so if you ever decide to come down, let me know. I'll give you my yeah, thing so you can go down. with her. Okay, cool. cool. When, when? <laughs> I see what you did. I'll be like, here's my, my pass, yeah, annual pass. Go know. with her. Just go. Um, just tag in. It's like, a, you know. Um, I love yeah. it. I love it. Though. <laughs> you have a flex pass? I have the annual pass, yeah. It's okay, cheaper. Yeah. It's cheaper. Trust me. Yeah, because you Trust can, me. But you can go any day. Mm-hmm. Yeah, except for like ho- certain holiday, holiday days, but for the most part, yeah, we're 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 pretty good. But yeah, guys, thank you so much. He keeps it longer in the episode. Yeah, we'll get back to you guys next Wednesday after WrestleMania, and we'll 
close out the podcast. And thanks again. Have a good night. Catch you guys next time. Yes. Good night. Always making the episodes long. I don't understand. Every single time. <laughs> You just went on a uh, bashing spree about Yeah, 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 yeah. Disney. She's going to give me shit when she gets home. It's fine. Bruce's people. <laughs> Jerk. <laughs>